along with economic development and prosperity, has come the inevitable increase in traffic to Pentong. However, with the completion of the Pentong Bypass, traffic jams may now be a thing of the past. The 28-kilometer bypass, starting just after the Bentong Toll at the Karak Highway, will allow road users travelling to Rob and other places the option of not having to drive through the town. Bentong MP Tato Sri Liao Tiong Lai said the bypass would help disperse the traffic. I also believe that, as I said earlier, the Bentong Bypass will become a easy way to get to the Pantai Dimo, and it will be easy to get to the Pantai Dimo, uh, memberikan satu uh, pengangkutan yang selamat yang keduanya dapat memangkinkan pembangunan ekonomi uh, di kawasan Bentong dan juga kawasan Pantai Timur. He said this after the launch of the bypass on Thursday. At present, over 100,000 vehicles pass through Bentong daily with the numbers picking during weekends and festive seasons, making it an inconvenience for residents and travellers. Dulu sesak lah juga kan, kalau nak pergi Bentong, tem-tem... Macam cuti ke apa, Jumat petang tu memang sesak. Hmm. Kalau balik cuti sekolah ke apa, ha, memang sesak. Bentong lah, bukan cuci ya. Hmm. Because it's a bad car. I think Bentong people cuti is very difficult. You can eat a lot of food, you can take a long time. And if you get a lot of people to eat, you can get a lot of kids, a lot of parents, and you can get a lot of parking, you can get a lot of parking. You can get a lot of parking. Works Minister Tatu Sri Fadila Yusuf, who was also present at the launch, said the bypass is a part of a 350km project called the Central Spine Road, which links Pentong all the way to Kota Baru. The 6.6 billion ringgit project will be a dual carriage road and is expected to be completed in 2019.